Prior to this vlog, I analyzed the demographics of the film, XML. I will be analyzing how the film is distributed, marketed and advertised in this vlog. I will also mention how the current generation are digital natives and how the current level technology is considered technological convergences. Distribution Distribution has two definitions. 1. How the product reaches the audience and 2. How it is advertised and promoted. Examples of how media is distributed to people through cinemas, television, internet, retail and download. Cinemas are made to provide the highest quality through their facilities. Television is another form of distribution, but the quality of distribution usually depends on the audience's facilities. The internet has now become a viable source of film distribution, but has two sides of distribution, commercial and illegal, piracy. Commercially is through the usage of commercial approved websites such as LoveFilm. However, uploading and giving the ability to download movies gives people the ability to share it, which is technically illegal as people are sharing commercially produced media, which means the producer is losing revenue and profit. Pay-per-view is one of the new and more popular ways of movie distribution, and Netflix is one of the largest distributors of films. They give the audience the ability to pay a subscription, and they provide the films that the audience wants. Finally, on-demand is a form of media distribution that allows service providers such as Sky and Virgin Media to provide movie services at any time the audience requires. x is provided through multiple mediums such as on-demand TV and originally the cinema, it was first released on April 29, 2009 in the UK, Denmark, South Africa, and Australia, April 30, 2009 in the Philippines and Dominican Republic, and 1st May in the United States and Canada. By September 15, 2009, Fox Home Entertainment released x on DVD and Blu-ray, and this provided another way for consumers to watch their films. All these forms of distribution are either a form of analog or digital. Analog means that it can only be played in terms of not being able to play from a certain point in the media or being able to select where to start. Digital media, which is usually the main method of media, does the opposite and is a completely advantageous form of media. It allows the audience to skip, pause, and start from the previous point of the film. Technological Convergence The current generation of technology has been a collection of several technologies from before made into one. An example of a technological convergence are smartphones, having the ability to be used as a normal phone, use an MP3 player, as a camera, or even as a connection hotspot. This links to the people who are digital native. The fact that they are more adapted to technology compared to the previous generations. Before the time when the internet was just a one way, and information only traveled from one place and only received on the other end, there couldn't be any form of physical interaction between two points. When Web 2.0 rose, the internet would become the most used thing as a data bank of information. Marketing, Advertising and Promotion Marketing is done so that a film creates the maximum amount of awareness towards its targeted audience. Paper-based promotions include magazines, newspapers, and posters. Digital and physical advertisement can include trailers, merchandise, collaborations, joint projects, promotional events, examples, giveaways, press, film, festivals, in-store promotions, product placement, and the biggest one of the current generation is social media. An indirect way of promotion and advertisement is through approved consumers, consumers who became producers. Through websites such as review sites, examples, Rotten Tomatoes, IMDB, and Metacritic. Films can gain recognition or can be seen as a film to be avoided, which would mean review sites can be considered a double-edged sword in terms of gaining attention. Marketing also involves the audience in terms of viewership and attention that the production has received, either by popular use of social media or through the other means, i.e. word of mouth. X-Men Origins Wolverine was promoted with tie-in merchandising with 7-Eleven, Papa John's Pizza, and Schick. Hugh Jackman, the lead character, even posts Wolverine in a Got Milk campaign. A comic series made its debut, which isn't directly influenced by the film, but it was made so that people who are interested in film could become interested in the comic series. An example of how the movie became a success could be how the movie inspired the idea to make the video game off of it. The video game was made by Activision Blizzard, and the review for it was substantial enough to be considered as a well-made game, albeit some negative reviews. However, the positives outweigh the negatives.